Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my America Hall Part 2. And uh, I'm filming in my living room today because the dogs are out here and I'm home alone today. So I thought that might be kind of fun. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. Pardon me, I have no makeup on. I literally have showered today and I've been cleaning my apartment all day. Uh, so this is what I look like. Completely naked. Um, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in. These are my first purchases ever from Ulta and I'm so excited. So the first thing I picked up was this quad eyeshadow from Urban Decay. And look at this packaging. It is gorgeous and it only gets better. So this is um, only a four pan mixed palette thing. Um, the cover looks the same. It's got these pretty rosy rainbow colors on it. Um, and it, you open it up, it's got a mirror on top and space for four eyeshadows. So it's not like their other palettes in that they only have four instead of six. It also does not come with a color in it. But I really just couldn't pass up this packaging. It was so gorgeous. And I think it was only like $10. So it was definitely a good deal. And then um, to put in it, I only got one color for now. And I got one of the Moon Dust. I got Zodiac, which is a pretty like black green sparkle color. For those of you who don't know what Moon Dust is, it's um, one of the eyeshadows that Urban Decay makes. And they are like loaded with glitter like just teeming and just glitter goes everywhere so this is the color I got again it's zodiac and it's this pretty black green color I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys so I swirled my finger in there a couple of times I'm gonna put it right up here it's so pretty it's not really super dark but the glitter in there is insane now I'm gonna have black all over my finger um, so that was the moon dust that I got from Urban Decay. They have several other colors that are drop dead gorgeous, but just didn't call out to me for something I thought I would actually use. Um, excuse me. I also got a Dr. Feel Good, which is vitamin C and E put together in this like velvety balm. And it's got really clever packaging as always with Benefit. There's a little guy kissing this little, his, a woman on the cover. And when you open up the tin, which is a little bit hard to open. Sorry. Oh gosh, I had it open just a second ago. Oh, there it goes. There's a sponge in here. You take the sponge out and then they have a little film to protect the product, which you can take out obviously after you open it. And then in here is the product and it is just really velvety and smooth and just feels so good on your skin. And I think I might even use them right now because I can see that I'm a little bit shiny. So the, C and, the vitamin C and E in here is supposed to help mattify your skin and fill in any like fine lines and wrinkles. Mmm, it smells really good too. It actually smells a lot like um, Origins products. Kind of has that like medicine, not medicine-y, like natural and organic smell to it. Um, so I got that and this I haven't used previously but when I saw it and um, tried it in the store it was just fantastic and I couldn't pass it up. So hopefully this does for me what I want it to. You can already see I'm a little bit less shiny up here. I didn't put that much on, um, but it feels so good on your skin. And then I got this little baby Batiste. I got it in blush. I don't think this is specifically for brown hair, but I really don't care because I've heard this stuff is fantastic and they won't ship it to me here in Germany. At least Amazon won't because Germany has new shipping restrictions. So I got a little baby bottle of the Batiste and I figure and hope and pray that if I love this stuff, some of my friends in America will send a full bottle out to me. And then I also got a little baby Hemp's bottle. Hemp's is my favorite brand of, of um, body lotion because it just is, feels so good on your skin. Like your skin kind of can take like a sigh of relief because it just feels so good on your skin. This is the vanilla plum scent. It smells like vanilla plum. It actually kind of smells like Dark Kiss from Bed, um, Bath and Body Works. It smells really good. I actually thought I got the pomegranate flavor because I have a giant pomegranate, but um, this one is not pomegranate. Um, I keep the large bottles of this stuff in my bathroom and I use it after my showers and I love it. Like it just feels so good on your skin and there's nothing bad in these, only good. It's just made from hemp. There's something like bad in it and it's fantastic. Um, I think most places that sell it are actually tanning salons. I don't personally use tanning salons, but that's the best place to find Hemp's Lotion or it's on Amazon, which is where I usually buy it from. Um, and then I got some really cool uh, samples. I got a Stay Flawless Magnet Primer from Benefit. It's the 15 hour primer. It comes in this little bubble. I think there's probably like a couple of tries in here. 
and um, I thought this stuff was cool. I was actually really excited that I got this as a sample because I had wanted to try it, but I didn't want to commit to the whole stick, so yay for that. And then I also got a creaseless cream shadow from Benefit, and this one is in no pressure, and guys, like seriously, this is insane. This is their sample size. Like, do you see how big this is? This is gigantic, and then the whole thing is full. So this is no pressure. It's like a taupey eggplant color, if that makes sense. But I brought a brush out so I can give you a little swatch. So you can see it right there below the Zodiac. It's a pretty like eggplant taupe color and it's seriously so creamy on my skin. Like it feels amazing. I'm sorry, my camera's going all wonky there. And so that is a sample. Like I can't even imagine like, that is, that is crazy to me. Like, benefit, go you. This is a fantastic size sample. And then I think that was it. Oh, I also got a travel size Urban Decay 24-7 lip liner in um, Naked, but it's already in my purse to use on the go, so I don't have it here for you. But it's just those little mini size um, pencils. So that is everything I got from Ulta. Okay, and so then I went to Target, or I didn't go back to Target, but I have more things from Target, and one of them is this super awesome giraffe lunch box. <gasps> Isn't it amazing? Isn't it so pretty? The little zipper is a little leaf, and it's so cute. I just had to have it. My husband was like, Kelly, you're 25 years old. You do not need a giraffe lunch box, to which my response was, of course I need a giraffe lunch box. Why wouldn't I need a giraffe lunch box? And then I was really sad because I saw on the other wall that they had um, matching backpacks to all the other animal lunch boxes they had, like the monkey and the owl, and I think like some, something else, like a dog. But they did not have the giraffe backpack. I mean, I don't really need a giraffe backpack, but who doesn't need a giraffe backpack? Anyway, so inside my giraffe, I've got a couple of goodies that I picked up at Target. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. First off, I got a couple of brushes from Sonia Kashuk. And I got the eyeliner brush, which is bent ergonomically like the e.l.f. ones are. And then I got a lip liner, or not lip liner, a lip brush. Um, and this I use when I'm doing like a dark lip, like a per dark purple or a red, and you really want it to be very flawless, very clean, very polished. You want to use a brush because it'll help um, keep everything just nice and neat. So I love these. And then this was something I had not tried before. I had never tried anything from the number seven line at Target. And so I got this because I thought it looked interesting and like it was gonna help me out. We all know I have oily skin as I just threw the Dr. Feel Good on. This is Beautiful Skin T-Zone Rescue for all skin types, but this is gonna help keep your T-Zone nice and clear and shine free. It says just to apply to your T-Zone before or after makeup whenever you want it. And so yay, hopefully this stuff works well because I am sick of having an oily T-Zone. Um, I also got two of the Revlon Lip Butters in the new line of flavors, or colors rather. This one is Juicy Papaya number 027, and it looks like this. It's a pretty orangey, corally color. I'll go ahead and swatch it. It's right here. It's very, very light, very, very peachy, very corally, and beautiful. And one thing that I've noticed with this one, as well as the Wired wild watermelon is that they're not super packed with shimmer like last generation's lip butters were and I way prefer that because there just was a little too much shine in there so here is the wild watermelon yeah that's it right there and um this is number 063 and they're gorgeous I forgot to get macaroon so oops my bad um I also got my first baby lips products and I got this little twin set here and one of them is a limited edition shade that's pink wink so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and swatch these for you guys. So this is Pink Wink. It's like a watermelon colored um, packaging with green writing. It smells like bubble gum. Kind of looks like bubble gum too. And then we go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So this one's gonna be right next to the cream shadow in Zodiac and there is almost no pigment to it. It's just kind of shiny. Yeah, there's like literally almost no pigment to it. That's Pink Wink. And then the second one in the pack is Peach Fuzz. Wait, Peach Kiss, sorry, Peach Kiss. And it's purple packaging with a little bit of like peachy colored writing. It's kind of peachy colored. Smells like peaches, smells really good. And we're gonna swatch this one next to the Wild Watermelon and the 
papaya and again even less pigmentation and just a little bit of sheen which is exactly what I wanted from these I had heard they were quite tinted and I don't really like tinted chapsticks because I feel like it just kind of makes a mess all over your mouth um, so I I really wanted to try these because I heard they were really really moisturizing but they were really tinted these ones seem to be not very tinted and that makes me very happy I also got this four variety pack of Burt's Bees chapsticks and I was really glad to have found this because while I had seen the different varieties they had on the shelf, they had two packs of all the flavors and I kept thinking to myself, well, I don't know which one I want. Why don't they just have a variety pack of all of them before I buy two of one and maybe I don't like it? And then I found this sucker. So they have the replenishing, which has pomegranate oil in it, nourishing, which has mango butter, rejuvenating with acai berry, and refreshing with pink grapefruit. So there's a little four pack of all these monsters. And I have high hopes for these because Burt's Bees is my favorite brand of chapstick. I have their normal original formula all over my house, in my car, in my purse, everywhere. Additionally, when I was a lifeguard, I lived by their lifeguard chapstick, which has zinc oxide in it to protect your lips from the sun. So. I'm really expecting a lot from these guys. And then kind of randomly in here <clears throat> is this Speedo fast drying towel. It's just basically just a chamois. But um, I've been trying to swim more and I will continue to do so into the fall more so because you know, it's cold to run outside but it's warm to swim inside. So fast drying towel for that. And um, Okay, so I also got some brush sets from Sony Kashuk because a lot of them were on sale and I wanted to get new brushes, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money and I'm saving for a Sigma set, but until then I wanted to get some very high quality brushes that didn't break my bank. So I got three of the Sony Kashuk um, ones and again, two of them were on sale. I don't know if they still are, but I'm sure by this time they have a new set out. Maybe just a different pattern that has the same brushes in it. So this is just the Brush Couture set. And it looks like this has got this pretty Hawaiian print like color on it. It makes me think of Hawaii. That's really why I wanted it. So in here there is a dual fiber multi-purpose brush, which is right here. This is basically just a stippling brush, an eyeshadow brush, a crease brush, and an angled eyeliner brush. But it looks pretty soft, so I'll probably use it in my brows for if and when I very rarely do my brows. But always good to have a good brush for it. And then I also got this um, native set, I believe. Whoops. And then I got the Native Beauty set, and this one has four brushes and a little clutch that you can put the brushes in. In here you have a synthetic domed powder brush. Oh, where is it? There it is. An eyeshadow brush, a fluffy angled eyeshadow brush, and a synthetic pointed eyeliner and lip brush. Um, I didn't realize that, that was a lip brush. I probably wouldn't have gotten the other one, but hey, you can never have too many lip brushes, right? Maybe I'll do one for purple and one for red so you don't mix the colors. Anyways, again, Sony Kashuk has nice sets. They are very high quality brushes for not a ton of money. This one was on sale and um, the colors were just too beautiful and too fun to pass up. And then lastly, come here little guy, was the Part of the Tribe set. And this one has, again, a large case and then five brushes over here. And in this case, there is a domed powder brush, a synthetic angled foundation brush, a dual fiber blending brush, an eyeshadow brush, a definition brush, and a lash brow groomer. Whew, that was a mouthful. Anyways, again, um, I kind of wanted this because I, again, love my giraffe prints and a couple of these are reminiscent of giraffe print. It was a little bit safari inspired and I just thought it was really fun. Um, and again, to some of these brushes I needed as replacements for my other brushes. And you know, you just can't beat the fun patterns and the prices. So again, this one was also on sale, I think marked down almost $10. Um, so again, even if these specific sets aren't out, she usually has amazing sets that are out and they're often going on sale at Target. So don't feel discouraged, get other cute patterns because she always has amazing patterns. And then my last couple of things from Target are not beauty related at all, but they're still fun and I wanted to share them with you. The first is this cute little zippered pouch. It's this cool paisley color or paisley pattern with some really cool colors. And I am working on a makeup starter kit, which I'm gonna put in here. It's kind of like an emergency purse, in the car, gotta go, but wanna look fabulous kit. Right now it is holding a few pairs of earrings that I want to show you guys because I just freaked out over them. I freak out over a lot of things in case you haven't noticed. The first is this pair of diamond uh, pyramid studs. 
and they have like two of the sides are filled with little rhinestones and two are plain. I got these on sale and I was so stoked to find these because Stella and Dot makes a very similar pair and I really wanted the Stella and Dot ones but these ones were only $4 and the Stella and Dot ones are not $4. Plus I am all about instant gratification. I would have had to like order them and wait for them to ship and then wait for them to come all the way to Germany and well these ones are right here. So they were really cute and I couldn't pass them up. And then I got this pair of like interesting little like okay they're danglies and they're little hoops but they're forward facing hoops so they're these gold colored hoops with these little flowers on them come on focus camera maybe just one so they have two flowers one is just an outline and one is filled in and they both have little pink um like centers and i thought it was cool because when you put them on your ear they face forward instead of facing sideways i thought that was a really interesting little little catch they did there unique little detail and then <clears throat> excuse me the last set is a set of six and there are these really fun colors and patterns like look at all these cute flowers and then these like really simple studs i thought that was just really really wonderful and the colors were just undeniable i couldn't i couldn't stop looking at this this made me really happy and when things make me happy i tend to buy them because i like to be happy and i like things that when i look at them they make me smile and then the last thing is this t-shirt and it's basically the most amazing thing i've ever seen so ready ready Oh my gosh, like do you see this? Do you see this BA giraffe wearing sunglasses? Like how fantastic is that? I saw this and I was like shouting across the store. I was like, honey, honey, come see this amazing shirt. I just can't go home without it. And he's like, again, with a giraffe, Kelly, like really get over yourself. Um, but like, uh, in case you haven't noticed, I have a mild, totally healthy obsession with giraffes and I just couldn't pass it up. I hope you guys like what I have. Um, again, this video is not to brag about what I have or what I got. I had to save for all the things that I purchased while we were in the States. So this is a once, a probably three year thing. Like I'm probably not gonna be doing this again. I don't plan on going back to the States anyway. But basically I'm not here to brag. This is just the things that I had to save for and that I was really excited and I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found some things that you're interested in and let me know if you want me to do a review of anything or if you have any requests. Please like and subscribe down below or above or wherever it goes. And yeah, until next time, peace, love, and smiles.